we're going to be maxing out the amount of income we could receive via the Section 8 voucher. Alex, this one's for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise, and today I'm working with my guy, Alex. Uh, what is this? I wrote it down. We are doing the third of a 10 video package for you. What you're trying to do, brother, is maximize the amount of money you can make with the Section 8 voucher program, right? The way the Section 8 voucher program works, folks, is Section 8 pays you uh, a certain amount for your units, right? And uh, people have three bedroom vouchers, four bedroom vouchers, five bedroom vouchers, you know, based upon the size of their family, things of that nature, okay? The more bedrooms you get, the higher the voucher is, right? That's how, that's how it works, okay? And my man Alex, his business plan is to buy... Uh, CD class single family homes that have four or five bedrooms, right? Because those are the biggest houses out here, essentially, right? We got a whole bunch of three bedroom homes, uh, but you start tacking on additional bedrooms and bathrooms. You could really get that Section 8 voucher up super high, right? So I've been uh, looking for a while. I keep my eyes out for Alex because we don't. We don't get these like every day, right? Like if you take all the housing stock in these rental neighborhoods, folks, like all the single family housing stock, I would assume like maybe like 95% of it is like simple three bed, one bath stuff. So whenever a bigger home comes on board, I like to shoot it to my man, Alex. So he's kind of, you know, just got me uh, just sitting back waiting for him, keeping my eyes out. And this is what I got. And I think you're going to love this. This is this is right in your alley. This was off market for a little bit, came back on the market, right? Uh, 3218 West 94th Cleveland, 4 for 102. We want to make sure we snatch this one up before it goes back uh, to pending with another buyer. Listed for 82600 This is a five-bedroom, two-bathroom home. And for all intents and purposes, Alex, it is basically turnkey, all right? Here's some shots of the, the street. You know, it's like a you know low C grade neighborhood, and the whole house is totally renovated, right? We got the flowing hardwoods. They got all fresh neutral paint. They did the trim. It's nice and stained and fresh. We really don't need to do anything here. You see, we got the the Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinetry with the countertops. You know, decently modern looking decor. Uh, I prefer the grays over the creams, but we're going to have no issue placing tenants in this thing. This is this thing is just ready to rock and roll, man. It's fresh, it's clean. Nobody's in there, so they, you know, the seller did just like a nice turnover essentially is, is what they did a little turnover renovation basically. And uh this thing is just pretty much, man, set it and forget it, bro. Uh we got pretty new mechanicals as well, right? We got uh Almost new or brand new hot water tank, almost new or brand new furnace. The thing is beautiful, man. This is going to be a Section 8 cash cow. Let me tell you what the agent said. Welcome home to this gorgeous colonial located in the historical Lorraine Station area of Cleveland. This five-bedroom home boasts new ductwork throughout the entire house, newer windows. The attic was finished and converted into bedroom sunroom. Addition added with all brand new windows and roof. Newer furnace and water tank. Most electrical up-to-date. New paint inside and out. Wonderful investment opportunity. Call today for a showing. And with all that space and the Section 8 program, Alex, we're going to hit your goals. I see no issue with us being able to rent this bad boy for 1200 a month. That's 14400 a year. Of that 14400 a year, 
even though we got new hot water tank, even though we got new furnace, we're still going to calculate $720 for our capital expenditures, right? Even though our rent is going to be guaranteed by the government, we're still going to calculate $720 a year in regards to vacancy and non-payment. And we're still going to calculate $720 a year in repairs because the Section 8 program, they do on an annual basis reinspect your home. So you will be making annual repairs. But we're not going to calculate any of that stuff into our profits. So with all the costs I have, our $14,400 is going to turn into $8,220 of pure profit. That is not including that $2,160, which is what we're saving back for CapEx, vacancy, repairs, and maintenance. So you're really getting an extra $2,160 on top of that $82, but I don't want you to consider that your profit because you're going to push that back into the property, right? Like this property has a bunch of new stuff, but what it doesn't have is a new roof, right? That's probably like a $6,000 roof, and if I had to guess based on the fact that everything else is new, I'm sure you're going to be doing a new roof within the next 10 years. So that's what that is saving up for, right? Uh, with all that said, I think their price is pretty good. I think we could maybe just try to wiggle it down a little bit. I'd like to see us pick it up at $80,000, right? We pick it up at $80,000. It's basically rent ready. We'll, of course, want to make your uh, purchase agreement contingent on a third-party home inspection. I'm sure uh, the inspector or my guys will do the rent ready inspection. We'll find a couple grand of tic tac stuff to do just to get it totally rent ready talking like the appropriate amount of smoke detectors making sure there's no leaks making sure every single window operates correctly things of that nature but you know all told right now i don't see any rehab right so i'd love to pick it up for 80 that would be a 10.3 cap you finance this you only got to put down 20 g's bank loans a 60 that would be a 26 percent return on your investment which is why you are targeting these big homes to go with the Section 8 program. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. I know we don't have a lot of them, uh, so when they do pop up, you got to move quick, right? You ain't going to find too many rehabbed five-bed, two-bathroom houses for this price, right? You ain't going to be able to pull in $1,200 a month in rent for an $80,000 house very often. So I think this one's going to make perfect sense for you, Alex. If you'd like to make an offer on it, as usual, just reply to this private email. Let my team know. Everybody else, if you'd like to work with me and my team in the same way Alex is doing, send us an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Include your phone number. My team will give you a call, go over everything we could do for you. And Alex, back to you, brother. If for some reason you're not feeling this house, I do have a backup home. I'm actually going to film that for you next, and then I'm going to get you that video right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.